Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I will be showing the Crimson Collection Pigments by Social Claws and uh, this includes the Fire Opal color, a gorgeous red berry color shift along with pink and blue and gold and green color shifts and we have uh, coordinating uh, with that Risqué Red. This is in the Chromageddon line a beautiful red chrome to go with your fire opal color. On these samples I do have them over clear, white, a light pink, a neon purple, a deep jelly blue, and a black. And you can see under um, the light here the uh, highlighted area there on each nail is uh, that beautiful berry color shift. The original Luminara had more of a golden color shift. And as you turn it different angles, you will get more pinks and greens. And then like over the black, you can see that kind of gold and green color shift. Uh, also keep in mind um, different saturations of the color shifts as well that you'll get in person as opposed to uh, what you might see here on this video. My lighting is very bright for this video, so it might uh, wash those out just a little bit. Uh, but these are stunning in person. So that is, uh, once again, Fire Opal. And um, then again, the coordinating color that we have in Chrome is Risqué Red. Over these samples, I have done them over white. Uh, you'll see that color on my thumb and my pinky on my own manicure. So white, a classic red there in the center, and black. A beautiful chrome, uh, goes on effortlessly just like uh, all the other chroma getting chromes in uh, the social clause line. Very, very mirror as you can see here. So those are the uh, pair of pigments that I'll be showing uh, the demo application and then we'll follow up with a design uh, from there. Now we'll be using the Accents No Wipe Black Gel Polish. Uh, this is a very nice, you can get a decent uh, one coat coverage on this. So just get a good even coat, make sure there's no bubbles or pieces of lint or anything like that in there. You do want a completely smooth surface for your best finish. Go ahead and cure that to the recommended 30 second time. I have an LED lamp. Now for application of this, I will be using a makeup sponge. I just find it uh, goes on a lot faster and I get uh, better coverage right off the bat. And I will be coming through after that with a silicone tool to kind of burnish a little bit and make sure that I get the shiniest and smoothest finish. As with all the pigment products in the Social Claws line, these are... Uh, excellent cosmetic uh, quality and uh, they really do apply very easily. So once again just giving it a final burnishing here to get the full mirror effect from this uh, multi-chrome. It's uh, essentially a uh, multi-chrome. It does have um, the gold and green and pink and blue is the original Aurora, but then it has that beautiful berry red color as well that sets it apart from the original Aurora. And there you can see the gorgeous color shifts from that red and then to a bronze and a green and a gold. Very beautiful over black. I use the uh, finger cot that Angela provides in the kit to just give it a final um, burnishing, make sure everything is quite smooth. And now that's ready to go ahead and top coat. As with any pigment, you do want it to last the longest that you can. So I would ad advise or recommend using some sort of, uh, what works best for me is a layer of hard gel before I apply that uh, Accent Snow Wipe. Um, I'm just skipping that step because I do show that in previous videos. Uh, but for those of you who have not, have not seen my videos, uh, I do apply a very, very thin layer 
of hard gel before I apply the no wipe top coat and that prevents chipping of the pigment. And here's the nail out of the lamp. Again, gorgeous. You get the greens along the sides, that berry color in the center. And here is a matte version, which I, I am wearing on my current manicure. I think it's just as beautiful. Matte. You still get the color shifts, just not quite as dramatic. But it is a nice effect. All right, for our next nail, I'll show really quickly the application for Risqué Red. And for that sample nail, I have done uh, already in black, uh, the No White Black, and cured that for 30 seconds. And again, using the makeup sponge, we'll simply apply a tiny bit of the chrome. You don't need much. And really, this is so silky smooth. It, I mean, it went on in seconds and complete full coverage. Uh, I found that you really didn't need to come in with a silicone tool to uh, burnish this. Going over it um, a little bit more with the sponge or even just the finger cot that comes in your kit is uh, plenty to get a completely smooth finish. And again, it is quite mirror, even more so once you get your top coat on there. And again, with this chrome, same as the Fire Opal, I would do one thin layer of the hard gel before applying your no wipe top coat. So again, the top coat will magnify that mirror effect once it's cured and out of the lamp. You can see how mirror it already is. And here it is out of the lamp. You can see just how reflective that that really is. So there are the two pigments in the new collection. You can see how the Risqué Red is a nice complement with the Luminara Fire Opal. All right, so next up I will show how to do that gold design over the matte finish. And once again on my sample I have done the Accents Black on. Over that, I applied the pigment, the Fire Opal. Uh, and before I applied the matte, I did apply the hard gel over that first. And the reason for that is because I have messed up and put the matte right over the pigment. And the next day when after I took a shower, it peeled off. So it's always best to go ahead and put your matte over a sticky layer polish. So I'm taking some of my first gel. This is Golden Eagle. Just give that a little bit of a stir. Take a little bit and put it on my palette. This is a nice kind of antique gold color. I'm going to use a number two fine detail brush to paint my design. And this is really, for this effect, just a matter of layering to get the desired 3D effect. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll start out with our initial design. And I love my scrolls and flourishes, so that's uh, the kind of design that I'll show today. You don't want to start off too thick. As you start to build, the lines can get thicker and thicker as you build, um, depending on how thin you do your lines with uh, each subsequent layer. So you don't want to be too heavy handed here.
All right, so once you do a full cure on that first layer, we're just coming through and adding a second layer. You're simply just going to trace over your initial design. You don't want to go outside what you've already done. You don't want this to become too thick and bulky. Once again, once you cure the uh, second layer, I'm coming through and doing a third and final layer. Again, you'll do as many layers for the desired effect that you would like. And once again, just go ahead and do your final cure. This particular first gel product does have a sticky layer, so I am removing that. There's no need to apply anything else over that. And there you have your nail. And again, you can see the color shift still from that berry red to the green gold kind of bronzy color. It is absolutely gorgeous. And as always, if you have any comments or questions for me, go ahead and leave them down at the bottom. I will get to them as soon as possible. Down below, you will find links to all the products that I've used in this video. If you like the demonstration, go ahead and like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.